Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video and today it's going to be the first tactic on FM23 and it is going to be my 4231. It's brought a lot of success in my personal saves and also done very well with the tactic testing. So let's get right into this video and if you do enjoy it, be sure to leave a like below and do subscribe to the channel. So we decided to test with three different teams of different quality. The first team is going to be an elite side, and that is going to be Manchester City. Now, we were incredibly successful with Man City. We managed to win the Premier League, which I would say is, you know, quite a given at the moment. They are playing very, very well. The Carabao Cup, we also managed to win in. And one thing which we did also win, which for some reason isn't showing up, but I will prove in the schedule, is going to be the Champions League. So we managed to win three trophies in our first season. With Erling Haaland scoring 78 goals, this guy is so... Such a glitch in this game. Pretty much the perfect player, in my opinion. Absolutely sensational. Bernardo Silva coming in with 24 assists as well. So the stats are very, very good for the players. And just to prove, you know, that we did manage to win the Champions League, we're going to go down the schedule. You can see some of the results here. It's not completely flawless. It's not invincible, but it is very, very good. And it did bring a lot of success. Obviously, this is a top team. Hence why... The one thing I wanted to make sure I'd done was I wanted to include teams that haven't got the stature of Man City's players because at the end of the day, if I posted a video with like Man City, PSG, Bayern Munich, um, even like Liverpool, just four teams that are all top of the game, it's going to look good anyway. So I've included three teams of different qualities. We now are going to see this down here. It's going to be 3-0 in the Champions League final versus AC Milan with Haaland getting two, Bernardo Silva getting one, and Sonali actually getting sent off in the Champions League final. We're going to dip a little bit into the stats quite quickly because we have got three teams to cover. Team attacking, you're looking at 2.76 goals per game, which is very high for this. Pass completion, again, sitting quite high. Now, this isn't completely based around sort of tiki-taka. Most 4 2 3 ones are sort of played around that style but this there is the occasional long ball being played so that's why that isn't up to the 90 percent sort of region so 2.76 scored and defending only concede a 0.76 one thing which i am not a big fan of so far in this game is the match engine when it comes to defending it seems quite difficult um i've noticed that when i've been playing on live streams and stuff like that if you guys do want to check them out be sure to see when i'm live but turn on the notifications but for me, them and goalkeepers are something which I think do need a little bit of tweaking. But do let me know as well in the comments what you think of the beta so far. Now, we're going to hop over to a team which are still, I'd say, favourites to win, but haven't got as good players in terms of overall attribute quality. And that is going to be Ajax. Still got a very good team. And we did manage to win the Dutch League. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit gutted in the Dutch sort of cups. But at the end of the day, winning the division was the main aim, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, we get a very, very tough round of 16 draw versus PSG, which, to be honest, is... It's not impossible, but it is very hard, especially since obviously these are all holiday simulated experiments. I can't even put my own twist on the game. Now, it's going to be Steven Berghaus coming in with 19 goals. In this save, I did notice there were sort of like five to six players that got around the 18, 19 goal region. So it was fairly well spread, which is something that is good about this tactic. A variety of goal scorers coming in. So obviously when we tested with Man City, it is going to be Haaland that does sort of, you know, step up and get most of the goals. It's going to be Tadic coming in with the highest match rating and the most assists with 17. Looking into the data hub then, team defending, we'll start off with that first. 0.85 conceded, so still under a goal a game. And as I said, with the match engine the way it is, for me, I am happy with anything under a goal a game conceded. So 0.85 conceded and 2.73 goals scored. So nearly an extra two goals to what we were conceding. So a very, very good sort of recipe for success there. Very similar pass completion, around the 83% mark. As I did say, although this is a, a tactic that does sort of set up to be quite a possession-based side, we do like to play the occasional long ball just because I've noticed it works very well within this system. But still, very, very good stats here, and I'm happy with how this worked out. We then hop over to fifth place Portsmouth in Skybet League One, and we have actually managed to get promoted in the first season, just finishing behind Ipswich, a local side of mine, who did actually finish rank one. But still, a very, very good result there. Obviously, very close. There was like four teams here, or three teams here, that could have got second place. And luckily, we did come up. One thing I did notice when playing with a slightly less standard a team, in terms of player quality, there weren't as many goals being scored. But I think that's fairly common sense. You compare on Josh Karoma with Erling Haaland, isn't really a comparison you can make. So for me... That is why, obviously, you're scoring less goals, because you have got less quality players, but still does a fantastic job. And like I said, this just proves that this tactic can be used in the lower leagues as well. Going over to the data hub then, 
We're going to look at team defending. 1.22 conceded. Again, you're going to have worse defenders. Also, with this, I don't want to keep slating the match engine because I am enjoying the game, but defender does seem a little bit harder. And obviously, with this, we haven't got the quality possibly that Man City and Ajax did have. But still, just over a goal a game conceded, 1.22. But team attacking, it's going to be just a little bit more, so 2.17. So you are still scoring more goals per game than what you are conceding. The one thing I would say, and I'm going to say it now, is because there is a little bit of tweaking I would advise if you're playing with a team like Man City, you're playing with a, a team that can compete for the title um, in like a quite a hard league, then I would recommend actually going with the mentality, which is going to be set to default as attacking. But when you play with a lower league side, especially which I found out here, for the first few games I rocked and I started with attacking, I switched to positive and the results started to improve, 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 improve. So for me, just dropping it back, being a touch more cautious when you are playing with a slightly worse off team does help out a lot here. So we've picked out a game which is actually going to be the Champions League final. Just to see a little bit of the goals, see how the goals actually went in and sort of explain it. But what we're going to do is we are going to go all the way back so we can obviously explain how this does sort of shape up. So it is going to be your basic 4-2-3-1 as you are used to seeing in real life. A lot of teams do play this style now. Even Jurgen Klopp switching to a 4-2-3-1 with results not going in his favour in real life. Now the good thing about this is I'll slightly drop the two in midfield a little bit deeper because when they were pushed up a little bit, I was being, to be honest, I was quite vulnerable on the counter attack and things like that. And obviously, as I keep saying, the match engine does seem a lot harder to defend on this year. So I have decided to play the two in midfield a little bit deeper just because it helps protect the back four and you've still got enough firepower up top to get your goals. And the great thing about this is, obviously, it's such a solid formation anyway. You pretty much have every position covered. You've got four at the back, which is probably the most safe way of playing. You've got your wingers as well. You've got your striker up top and you've obviously got then free in midfield, sort of like that. And it is one of the most balanced tactics out there. So I can see why so many managers in the Premier League are deciding to play in it. And to be honest, they all shape up quite similar. Just each one has a little individual twist. And what we're going to do is we are going to watch the goals only in this one. because I do want to take some time to actually break down the tactic for you guys. So what we're going to see here is going to be Haaland picks up the ball. Again, the wingbacks are going to be getting out into these areas. They do push up. They do help create chances. It's going to be Kyle Walker here out on the right-hand side, taking his time. Again, he could go back into here into Rodrigo, but he decides to go by himself. And I want you to watch Haaland's movement here. This is what makes him such a great player. Walker puts the ball across and Haaland just manages to get in front of number 20 here. And this is what makes him such a dangerous striker. He's by far the best striker in the game. I don't care what anyone says. He's absolutely outrageous. I mean, deserved because he's so good in real life. But this guy is a serious issue this year in Football Manager. It's going to be Cancelo picking up the ball here, taking his time. Again, several options. You're going to see number eight actually sort of drift in here to try and collect the ball. He can go back into Laporte. So we're going to see what he does here. He does actually go long into Rodrigo, another option which I didn't even see, just showing how many options on the ball there are in this system and what you're seeing is me saying you are seeing a little bit more of directness with the passing you can pull off the short pass and style in this system as well but for me it just worked a lot better when we were playing sort of longer balls because what we could see here might not happen but De Bruyne could pick up the ball here and play a diagonal ball all the way into this area here and because Walker is very rapid he would get onto it but let's see what he decides to do it's going to be De Bruyne it actually plays a beautiful ball to Bernardo Silva but that, that run from Kyle Walker was on so it is very very good this system because there's so many different options the players can use it's going to be Kyle Walker picking up the ball here on the right hand side taking it out wide again such a such a good right back cutting it back by the looks of it into Rodrigo who goes into the box looks like it's a little deflection of Haaland who does get the second I believe it did come off Haaland we'll see after because I do want to show you the stats as well was it Haaland that got the goal it was Haaland that got the goal and as you can see here against a very very good AC Milan side granted they did go down to 10 men in the 34th minute we managed to have 20 shots six on target a 3.18 XG. And again, the possession isn't something we're too focused on, but still even have more possession in this scenario. So this just shows what this tactic is actually capable of. Now, before we do break down the tactic, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video and do subscribe to the channel. There's going to be tons of tactics coming out over the year. And I guarantee if this one isn't for you, there will definitely be one suited for you coming out at some point this year. So let's break it down. So do follow along. What we're going to do here then is we're going to start off with the mentality. This is what I want to talk about. Now, if you're playing with a team like Man City or possibly even playing with a lower league side, but you're playing an easier side in that division, 
I would go attacking, even off the rip, in my opinion. If you want to be a bit more cautious, um, definitely go down to positive, even balanced. Someone in my chat told me that balanced is really good this year, and I couldn't agree more. But it all depends about how, it, obviously, that is up to you guys as you go along. How confident you are going into each game that you do actually play in. Now, going over to in possession. Fairly wide, play out of defence, standard with the directness of passing, slightly higher tempo, run at defence, be more expressive, and mixed crosses. In transition, don't oppress, counter, distribute to the fullbacks and the centre backs, and take short goal kicks. Out of possession, high press line of engagement and a higher defensive line. More often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution and stop crosses. And we are going to cover the player roles. Before I do go into that, though, I do want to quickly say something, and that is because I can already see some of the comments coming. If you guys do feel like you're vulnerable at the back, especially balls going in behind, drop the defensive line a little bit. But for me, I personally do enjoy having it as a high defensive line. I like playing like that. But if you guys are, you know, finding it very difficult, then do just drop it back. I quite like playing this way, and it's worked really, really well. But let's break down some of the player roles, or all of the player roles. The first one is going to be a sweeper keeper on the defend duty, shorter pass and selected. The right back is going to be a wing back on the support duty, balanced, get further forward, run wide, and shorter passing with aim the crosses at the centre. Moving over to the left back, it's going to be another wing back on the support. It's going to be exactly the same, balanced, get further forward, run wide, shorter passing, and aim the crosses at the centre. Two centre backs now. Now, they're both ball playing defenders. This was mainly to be based around City sort of style with, you know, because we've got really good ball playing defenders but again this is something you could change but for me playing it out from the back is a key thing in football and something which i would highly recommend the first one is going to be a ball playing defender on the stopper obviously this one is going to be a little bit more up the pitch just sort of stopping the stuff coming into the box going to be balanced ease off tackles and shorter passing and the next one to him is going to be a ball playing defender but this one is on the defend duty and this one's going to be balanced and shorter passing now Two in midfield, as I said, these were sort of playing up here, but it's too far forward in my opinion, especially with this match engine. You want a deep line playmaker on the defend duty, balanced and short passing. Next to him is going to be a Roman playmaker, such a good role in this game so far. You want him on balanced and short of passing. We're then going to go up to the front four, if you want to say that, but the three across here. On the left-hand side, it's going to be an inverted winger on the support duty, balanced, stay wider, cut inside and standard with a directness of passing. Over to the right-hand side, it's going to be another inverted winger on the attack duty, balanced, get further forward, cut inside, and standard with the pass and directness. Now, in the middle, you can pick between an advanced playmaker and attacker midfielder. For me, this works better with an attacker midfielder on the support duty, balanced, move into channels, run from position, standard, and dribble more. The last position, the goal scorer, the selfish player, an advanced forward on balance, standard, and shoot more often. That is going to be the tactic fully broken down. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, you've enjoyed the first tactic release on this channel, be sure to leave a like right on the video below. Do subscribe and turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one.